What's up guys, good morning YouTube. So I am on my way to work right now. It is about 8 a.m. I need to get there by 9. <laughs> Today I want to do today's video a little bit more different. What I did last night is I actually went on Instagram and I actually posted on a story for people to ask me anything they want me to answer on today's video. And I'm gonna try to do my best to answer as many questions as possible in today's video. So let's go ahead, let's get on the road, let's go to the office. And I'll see you guys when I get there. Dudes, all right guys, so I'm about to answer a question, but look at all the questions that came in. That's insane, that's just from overnight. Ay, 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 that's a lot of questions. All right guys, what is up YouTube? So I am here driving to work right now and I want to answer the first question right now from Lil Cuz Jr. He asked, Chris, uh, what are the first steps you took to learning code? Um, very good question. I think it's a very important question, which is why I want to answer it. So one of the first steps I took to learning code um, before I had anything was I just tried out. That's literally it. I had no idea, right, if code was going to do something in my life. I had no idea how big of a difference code would really do for me. I had no idea I'd be making a coding YouTube vlogging channel, right? I had no idea that I'd do any of these things. And so the first thing I did was literally just go ahead and try. And I didn't know where to start. I saw an ad for Treehouse and I signed up, did a seven day free trial. And I'm here where I am today now because of that, right? So just the, what it takes to learn code, there is no master plan to learn code. There's no massive plan. You just have to go and do it. That's literally it. You have to go, do it, and you have to try and see what it takes or how it goes and where it takes you. And just, and just try things. Whatever it's back and front end, HTML or JavaScript, whatever. Just try and see where it goes from there. Yeah. First question answered. Let's go. She's the one I'm thinking of. Hey. The only one I'm thinking of. All right guys, what's up? So I just got here to the gas station. I just got my Subway. I always get a Subway sandwich almost every single morning when I go to office. I get, I eat half of the sandwich for breakfast, the second half for lunch. If not, I go out with Jessica for lunch and eat the second half for dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer another question right before I get into the office right now. So one from Kemi10 asks, what software are you using to code? What I use to code at work is pretty much I use the VS Code. Um, I use the terminal. Um, I use Google, it is getting really bright. Oh my gosh, let's fix this. Um, yeah, I use Google, I use uh, VirtualBox and all these different things too as well to code. Uh, but yeah, so what I really use is just Visual Studio. <laughs> you know, work with PHP, uh, JavaScript, Sash, jQuery, Twig and all these different things. That's what I use at work. I mean, I don't know how else to answer that. All right, let's go to the office. Time after time after time I am wondering who is she to me I'm gonna tell you right now Alright guys, so I just got here to the office I want to go ahead and answer the next question super quick So a question from Tian.rar Ask if JavaScript wasn't invented What language will you code on? The language I would code on JavaScript did not invent If it was never invented Honestly, would probably be I'd probably do, be doing either iOS development, right, working with Swift, or if not that, I would probably be working with PHP, ba pure backend developer. Yeah. All right. What's going on? This is me. I'm so royal, and you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion. All right, guys. So I'm here in the office right now. Um, I want to go ahead and answer another question. I got another question from Tan, and he's asking, uh, "Where did I get my keyboard and my mouse?" So let me show you my my gear really quick. Um, here we go. So here are all the, here are all the questions. So this is my keyboard. This is the Razer Huntsman keyboard. This is the Razer launch head mouse. These are the headphones I usually use. I got all of the items here from the Razer website. And the keyboard that I got is this. That it's probably blurry right now. But this is the Huntsman Elite keyboard, and that's what I'm using. But yeah, so that's pretty much what I use here at work. I've been using Razer for a while. I love the products, but all right. I'm hungry, man. Time to go to lunch. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Yeah. Famous, also famous, number one desirable. Yeah. I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the air. That's how I roll. I got changes. Oh, really? Because it doesn't have to be tested. That's true. It okay, already has it in. Yeah. Dang. That's like, it's a lot easier. I, I feel. All right, guys, we're leaving work now. We're done for the day. 
Just kidding. Let's oh. do it. Let's go. <laughs> Going to lunch right now. Try, kind of doing this vlog style, I guess. I'm kind of stressed out at work today. Um, <laughs> yeah, but let's go ahead and get some food. I think I know how I want to relieve my stress though. Oh. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over. Cold eyes, the same fights, we won't be getting any closer. Alright guys, today has been super stressful. I work, at least for me, it's just yeah. some miscommunication on, on my part, to be honest. Um, this page should have been done by now, but it's not because I need to pay more attention to details. So <laughs> this page should have been done, but I think by tomorrow, uh, probably won't get done until maybe mid next week now, but it happens. And I'm stressed out because it's my mistake and I could have fixed it right away, but I didn't. So time to do it. Yeah. Did I, was I stressed out at work? A little bit. <laughs> this guy's a little busy at work too. So yeah. we'll go ahead and get some lunch and I'll show you in a bit. This is me, I'm so royal And you all wanna be round Yeah, you all wanna be round Round a champion, a champion Alright guys, so now we just got our food. I got some healthy food right now. I got some tofu with rice and veggies. But guess what, I didn't even buy it. This guy, Jesse. Jesse, <laughs> J-Lo. What's up guys? Um, Co-worker, developer, <laughs> feels very awkward when the camera got me the food. So everyone, please say thank you in the comments below. Give a give a video a thumbs up. Yes. What, what did you get, by the way? You got chicken. Meat. You got meat. Well, man. it looks like meat, but it's chicken. <laughs> Wait, it's a difference. It looks so awkward right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm just trying to <laughs> blow some stress. Eat this food. And we'll go back to work. Actually, we're gonna stop by Best Buy really quick because Jesse actually bought something. So we'll go ahead Let's and head it. there. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, I'm here, about to go to Best Buy really quick with Jesse. And I, I heard the new Amazon Echo came out and the security coming. So really quick though, before we security tells us to stop recording, uh, what I want to talk about. Someone asked about if I prefer using a PC or a Mac for recording and for coding. What I personally do prefer to code with is with a Mac and the reason I prefer using a Mac over Windows is number one I use the Apple ecosystem I have the Apple watch I have the Apple phone as well um, and other than that one thing about Mac that I love so much when it comes to coding is the fact that we can use the Linux system Linux system which is absolutely amazing to be honest so but yeah that's why all right guys so it is the end of the day um, I wasn't able to answer as many questions as I wish I could have today and so while I'm still here at work right before I head out I want to go ahead and answer one more question and then I'll see you guys tomorrow so I'm gonna answer another question right now um, and a really good question that someone asked me is actually right here from Arlen Kasumi ask why programming another question to respond back with you is why not right um, Programming is huge. I'm actually about to do a video to upload tonight for YouTube um, where I talk about how a CEO is talking about how valuable developers are and he's literally fighting to keep developers at this company because we're so in demand and this niche that we're in is so hot right now and it will continue to be hot because why technology is growing and getting even that much more bigger right now. And so why programming? Number one, the pay is insane. No degree needed, no degree required, just hard work. Number two, what you put in is what you get out. Meaning the harder you work, the more effort you put in to learn more languages and frameworks or libraries. And not even just that, to get better as a programmer in general and solving problems, the more you get paid. Number three, if you live in the USA or Australia or where code and tech is in demand, you'll have a job wherever you go and you will always have a job. Let's say you get laid off, of course you should save for a few months if you lose your job, right? But let's say you get laid off, you'll be able to find a new job within three to six months easily and if not get paid even more. As long as you're of course trying to be competitive and always learning and building a portfolio too. Last but not least, number four, you are treated like you're valuable. You have freedom to be you. You are able to not worry if you're gonna lose your job. You are able to really um, feel like you're valuable to a company and you're, and you're, you're treated well. And more than that, you're, you're contributing to a company and providing, you're, you're you just, I, I can't explain it, man. You just, we feel valuable and that's it. I mean, what more do you want than that? <laughs> um, and so why programming? You're pretty much future-proofing, right? your life, your future. You're guaranteeing that you and your family will have a good future as long as you're willing to put in hard work and don't remain stagnant. That's why. Dang. 
that was a good answer. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the video here. I think this video is actually long enough. Never mind. So I'll see you guys next time. I have a lot more questions, so I'm gonna make another video to upload on Monday. I think that will work. So we'll end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Krishan, Life World Developer. And if you want more Q&A videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. And if we reach a thousand likes, I'll make sure to do more, I guess. Help me out. <laughs> this is Krishan, it's a Life World Developer, and I'm out. Peace.